हेलो 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 हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू वीडियो की हाल चल आई होप यूर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गोन सी प्रॉब्लम नंबर ऑफ सबेरेज विद ऑड सम ना इट्स अ वेरी इजी प्रॉब्लम मेक श्योर दैट पार्ट इट सीज दैट सिंपली गिवन एन एरे ऑफ इंटीजियर एरेज यू हैव टू रिटर्न द नंबर ऑफ सब एरेज विद द ऑड सम सो लेट्स ब्रेक इट डाउन इट इज सब एरेज देयर नंबर एंड द सम इज ऑड so technically i have to find sub array sum make sure that get the odd sum out of them and then simply count them that's it so again uh, there can be naive ways of finding a sub array and taking a sum that would take o of n cube time and then again we can optimize that to o of n square as well by you know just moving i j and then keep on moving forward again we have seen similar a lot of problems previously if you come to the practice problem sheet in easy itself we have seen similar problems like this where we you know take the sub array sum so i'm not discussing that because obviously this will also give you tle in n square even will give you tle so obviously you have to think in terms of either n log n or n now the biggest hint here is sub array sum now to find the sum or to find any sum for the entire sub array what we do we have a very standard technique called as prefix sum prefix sum again there is nothing new if you didn't know about prefix sum then obviously you should know about it and if you would have solved problems in the practice sheet easy ones then you would all, all already be knowing about it prefix sum is a technique which helps us to find range sum or i can say sub array sum how so prefix sum says that i will maintain the prefix sum in the very beginning zero then plus 1 will get a 1 then plus 2 we get a 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 Ten plus five, fifteen. Fifteen plus six, twenty-one. Twenty-one plus seven, twenty-eight. So now I have got my prefix sum array. Now, if anyone again, this is let's say a pre-computation. If anyone comes and asks me, Arin, what is? The, let's say if I put the indexes as well, right? And this is I put the indexes, and let's say if I do a selection here as well. Now, if anyone comes and asks me that Arin, what is the the sub array sum from let's say three to five? Then, if they ask me from three to five, I will go on to index five, and index again. Let's say it's L and R, so I'll go to L minus one. This value, I will say twenty one minus six. It's nothing but the range sum from L to R. So for range sum from L to R, it is nothing but prefix sum of R minus prefix sum of L minus one. Right? What is prefix sum of R? It is twenty one. Prefix sum of L minus one? It is six. Answer will be fifteen. And as you can see, six plus four plus five will be fifteen. And that's how simply by doing a simple pre-computation, you can find the prefix sum. But how can we leverage this technique for the current problem? Okay. Now the only task here is that this is the range sum. I want this to be odd. I want this to be odd. Obviously. in usual scenarios what we do in usual scenarios we just keep on to we keep on going to every specific index so right now let's say i am at this index right so i can imagine this as my current r and i want to see how many sub arrays in the back will be there such that their sum is odd now a simple mathematics a simple math observation will come in so my num so far or i should say prefix of r is fixed it can be odd or even in this case it is odd so i can simply say that it is right now odd now odd minus what thing should give me a odd right now again i don't want the actual number i want either odd or even so odd minus what thing will give me odd obviously take an example in this case take a 7 as an example minus to something and then take let's say another odd let's say 5 So I have to subtract a two, which is even, to get another odd. So I realized that if I am at a odd, if the r this value of prefix sum is odd, then I should look for even, look for even, even in the past, look for even in the past, and with that even in the past, and again, I don't want to look for even technically. I I don't want to go back because if I go back entirely. on all the elements and then see how many evens are there obviously it will not you know obviously it will be pretty lot like it will give me 
for every index i am going backwards then for this index also going backwards so for every index going backwards one index going backwards n time every index o of n time it will be n square obviously not affordable what i can do i can simply maintain the hash map simple again whenever we say count we can we we think of hash map right so we'll maintain a hash map hash map of even count previously so even count previously i just ask how many even i have zero one like one of them is this one another one is this one another one this one so i have three count previously what this three count indicates this three count indicates that i will have three i will have three sub arrays three sub arrays whose sum will be odd because i was looking for even so i will get the sum as odd which one these will be first one will be this second one will be this and third one will be this because again this is zero so ending at here this is six ending at here this is 10 ending at here so these three sub arrays will give me a sum as odd so technically what we did we did we we just go on to all the indexes one by one so i am at this index i'll imagine this as my prefix sum of r and with its parity i would be looking for opposite parity which is even will it be same for uh, you know when the current value is even let's check it so if i am let's say here obviously my prefix sum of r is 10 which is even okay let's let's now change the parity and let's try to see if it is even i want my thing to be odd take the example i have 6 let's say the odd can be 3 i have to subtract what i have to subtract a odd number so if i am at any specific index let's say 10 if its parity is even i should look backwards for odd for odd values or i should say odd prefix sums so in that case i i am at even i will look for odd which is 1 and 3 so i have to maintain a hash map you know of odd count as well that how many odd count i have seen so far and that's how i can simply track it right now this is the entire idea of how i can leverage i can maintain a hash map i can maintain a prefix sum and with that itself i will be able to achieve in o of n time because obviously let's say if i pick the prefix sum so time will be o of n to make the prefix sum then i will iterate on this entire prefix sum array again and also parallelly maintain the hash map thus getting another iteration now space because i am using this prefix sum the space will be o of n now the question is can we optimize this again i will show you dry run as well but can we optimize this we have seen similar optimization previously in easy problems as well in the practice problem sheet we simply do okay compute this so again the major space and time is taken by pre computation of this prefix sum right don't do this thing compute it as you are going how let's see so i will do one thing i will not compute this entire array no i will make sure that i am maintaining the prefix sum value as i am going forward and i will maintain again technically i need only two counts even and odd so i can maintain even count and odd count so let's say i maintain the even count so far and odd count so far and you know that uh, any prefix sum starts from zero so even count by default is one odd count by default is zero let's now proceed forward so i receive a one again told you for one it will look for a even parity let's update the answer as well that answer will be how many so far i have seen such odd sub array sums so so far the answer in the very beginning is zero when i received a one as prefix sum i will see okay uh, i will look for a e even parity even parity i will ask the count count is one obviously i'll increase my answer by one okay let's proceed forward now i will do a prefix sum 1 plus 2 i'll get a 3 For three again, it's a odd. I look for even parity. I'll say, oh, what to do now? Nothing. Uh, look for even count. I'll say one. Okay, let's proceed forward. Then three plus three, I get a six. Now again, as I'm moving forward, make sure okay, this was odd, so increase the count. This was odd, increase the count. Okay, so this is how I increase the count in the previous steps. Now, if I am at six, I'll say okay, I am at even parity. Look for odd count. Odd count says it's two. Okay, add a two, and then before proceeding forward, update the count, which becomes two. Now six plus four, ten. For even, look for odd count. Odd count is again two. Okay, before moving forward, update the count. Now ten plus five, fifteen. For fifteen, look for even parity. 
even count is 3. So I will simply add a 3. Then 15 plus 6, 21. For odd, look for even count. Okay, as we are moving forward, making sure that, uh, you know, we update this count. So for 15, let's update the count. And uh, so far, we can see that even count is 1, 2, 3. Odd count is 1, 2, 3. So I am good. Now for 21, look for even count, which is 3. Okay, simply add a 3. And then before proceeding forward, update the odd count. And that's how we can simply solve it. Now, uh, as we proceed forward, 21 plus 7, 28. And with 28, I will look for odd count, which is nothing but 4. So I look for odd count, which is 4. And now, as I move forward, I will update the even count and that's it. So if I just take 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 11 plus 6 which is 17 okay it should be 16 let's see where we actually missed or extra added uh, if I go back and start from it so in the very beginning I will have just one even count and okay but first check if it is okay 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 5 is 15 15 plus 6 is 21 21 plus 7 is 28 okay in the very beginning the even count is 1 so Okay, yeah, in the in the very beginning, even count is one. So for this odd, I'm looking for one even. Okay, for three, um, again I'm looking for a even count, which is again one, and then for six, I'm looking for the odd count, which is two. For ten, I'm looking for again the odd count, which is again two. For fifteen, I'm again looking for a even count, which is one, two, three. Okay, now for 21, I'm looking for again an even count, which is 1, 2, 3. And then lastly for 28, I'm looking for odd count, which is 1, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 6, 16. Okay, like last time also we did the same thing, did it do the wrong addition? No worries. Okay, so this is how we can simply approach it. Uh, this is the dry run. And with this, you saw that I didn't have to compute this prefix sum because, uh, you know, I don't have to store this prefix sum because technically at every index, I'm just refer referring my event count and all count, right? That's the only thing which I'm doing. So for that, it will be pretty easy for us, you know, just to go about and get the things out from this event and all count itself. So I just need two variables and a variable called as prefix sum. Let's see the code. It's exactly the same as what we saw. I will maintain a prefix sum variable. I have an odd count in the very beginning as zero, even count as one, because prefix sum is zero in the very beginning. And the problem says that do the mod at every step. So I'll do that uh, just for the problem sake. Now, what 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 will be the answer? I'll go on to all the elements. I'll just keep on adding that num into my prefix sum. If that prefix sum is even, I am looking for odd. So I'll just add the odd count. Again, modding at every step is one uh, one thing. And then making sure because this is the even, I'll update the even count. Elsewise, if the prefix sum would have been odd, then I'm looking for an even count. And because it's an odd, so I will just update the odd count. And then I will keep on repeating this until I'm exhausting with all the numbers. Ultimately returning the result, which is automatically already mod. Time in this case will be O of n, one pass, because we're not using anything extra. And space will be O of n, because now we are using only some variables. Cool, I hope you guys got it. If you want to practice more such problems, make sure that you check out the practice problem sheet and that's gonna make you perfect. Bye-bye, take care.